Wow! Here's a simple exercise that will reboot your brain in 30 seconds. So it's Monday and you're already exhausted. An out-of-whack pituitary gland, which releases necessary hormones to your body, may be to blame. Believe it or not, you can give your pituitary gland and brain a reboot just by pressing your thumb. Don't believe me? Just watch! So what if you've been feeling tired or fatigued lately and don't know why? Perhaps it's time to give your brain a reboot. You can give yourself this sort of an energy jolt right at home just by using your fingers. Seriously! Try this pressure point exercise and see if you feel any different. Here's how you do it. Take the thumb of one hand and stick it up like you're giving a thumbs up. With the thumb and index finger of your other hand, squeeze the tip of the aforementioned thumb over and over again. Do the squeezing in an on and off motion for about 20 seconds. Feel anything? If you feel your nasal passages opening up a bit, you're hitting the pituitary gland, which is located right above your sinuses. You may feel your nose clearing and be able to breathe a bit clearer. Haha, <laughs> feels good, doesn't it? Okay, now try the same squeezing motion on the sides of the same thumb or either side of the nail. Hold this squeeze for 30 to 60 seconds without letting go. While you may be feeling differences in your nasal passages, you may also experience a slight surge of energy or even clarity of mind. If you don't feel anything at all while trying this pressure point exercise, don't feel discouraged. This is normal too. Try the squeezing motion again later on or the next day. After doing this a few times, your body will get the signal and you'll feel a difference. In addition to feeling fatigued or foggy in the head, everyday life can also leave you feeling understimulated and bored. If you're craving a jolt of energy or the feeling of being high, you don't need to turn to alcohol or dangerous narcotics. You can get feelings of happiness and euphoria using pressure point practices. First of all, do you know the scientific reason behind the feeling of being high? If you've ever taken medicine, you may have felt foggy, drowsy, or even high. This is because the medicine was reacting with your brain's neurotransmitter receptors. Uh, what the heck are those? Well, neurotransmitter receptors sense any chemicals you put into your body, like medicine, and they tell your body what to feel. But instead of turning to meds or recreational drugs, you can make your brain tell your body to have feelings of euphoria and happiness thanks to reflexology. Here's a great exercise to help put you in a happier mood. This one uses the thumb's pressure point as well, because the tip of the thumb is connected with the brain and head. Take the middle finger, ring finger, and pinky of one hand and tuck them into your palm, leaving your thumb and pointer finger extended, similar to a hand motion of a pointed gun. Hey, don't shoot! Hey, along with that, if you can pull your arm out of its socket and hand it to someone, <laughs> now you're disarmed! Okay. Anyways, take your thumb and sit it right down on the top part of your folded middle finger. It should look like you're pointing at someone. Now take the thumbnail of the opposite hand and place it right onto the nail of the thumb you're currently pressing down. Nail to nail. Quickly rub the nails together to stimulate them. After doing that for a few seconds, push them together firmly for 20 seconds. After that, you should start to feel a bit of pressure behind your eyes as well as a relaxed sense of euphoria. This feeling is your brain winding down. Don't feel anything? Keep doing this for another 20 to 60 seconds. Feel anything now? <laughs> Congrats! 
you've successfully psychoactivated your brain. <laughs> Pretty awesome, right? Okay, so you've given your brain a reboot, but how does this work? By working the pressure points on your thumbs, you're activating your pituitary gland. This gland is located in your head right behind your sinuses. The pituitary gland is incredibly small, about three hundredths of an ounce. That's about as big as a kidney bean. But don't let that teeny tiny size fool you. The pituitary gland controls a lot of things in your body. This gland releases most of the hormones in your body, which is why it's often referred to as the master gland. Hormones tell your body how to function. Without them, your body wouldn't know what to do. They tell certain organs how to work. They dictate how things like your hair should grow. And much, much more. Hmm, impressive. Since your pituitary gland releases hormones that control many of your organ functions, if there's anything dysfunctional about it, things can really go awry, particularly when it comes to glands like the thyroid. Your thyroid gland secretes hormones that regulate body processes, your metabolic rate, digestive function, muscle control, brain development, and even your mood, to name a few. If your thyroid gland doesn't work the way it's supposed to, you can feel fatigued, lethargic, and can gain weight. Of course, this all depends on the individual, their genetic makeup, and the world around them. Curious about other pressure points you can find in your hands? <laughs> I don't blame you! In addition to the tips of your thumbs, there are pressure points in the tips of all of your fingers. On both hands, the pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky are all connected to the brain, head, and sinuses. The lower halves of the ring and pinky fingers are pressure points for your ears. The lower halves of the pointer and middle fingers are connected to your eyes. Who would have thought your hands were so powerful? Next time you're sitting at your desk, trying to get out of the infamous 4 p.m. brain haze, try activating these pressure points to see if you can feel your brain getting a serious reboot. Using reflexology is a great natural alternative to drugs, and it's super easy to do. But the best part? It's totally free! While activating pressure points on your hands is fairly easy, it's important to be in tune with your body and not do anything you're uncomfortable with or that causes you pain. If while doing any of the exercises mentioned in this video, you felt pain of any kind, stop doing them immediately. If you're simply more comfortable having someone else activate these pressure points for you, pay a visit to a certified reflexologist. They'll do the work for you. So. Did you feel an immediate reaction when you pressed on your thumb's pressure point? Cool! Share your experience with us in the comments! Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe! Stay on the Bright Side!